Hi, this is Coffee County Mayor Judd Matheny, and you're watching The Mayor's Message. Hello, welcome to this edition of The Mayor's Message, and we have a uh, repeat performance, uh, uh, second time guest, which we're going to start having more of those as we progress through projects and, and uh, we do some initial meetings of uh, some commissioners, elected officials and, and uh, persons of note here in the county. And uh, we have Craig Boyd with us again. He's the director of our animal control and we've done quite a lot since we had him here last time on the development and uh, implementation of the first stages of our animal control center and uh, our animal services center. I like that name better. Uh, we're uh, names yet to be determined on, on uh, that will hang on the wall. But uh, once again, I can't say enough positive things about Craig and his staff. Uh, they've done a whole lot with a little, and we want to give them more tools and more resources in the future, which will in turn give our county more. Just uh, real quick, uh, Craig, I'll give a, a sort of a macro on where we are, and then I want you to talk about your desires for the design of the shelter and, and what you would like to see. And uh, of course, we need community help. The county's put a substantial amount of money in. The community already has. We're still continuing. I'm continuing to raise money for the shelter for capital issues. Uh, one is a digital billboard. Um, talking to several folks, but uh, don't have anything uh, anywhere near firm yet for a digital billboard out front that we can have messages, adoptable dog or cat of the day, um, uh, advertisements if necessary, everything on a nice digital billboard that will run perpendicular to uh, Hillsborough Highway. Um, outside the shelter. We have three acres of land that was donated by Tom and Karen Rice here in Coffee County, which is prime land. We had a groundbreaking on December 7th, and uh, we have a uh, initial drawing of the facility that uh, will be hanging on the outside fence very soon. Um, Scott St. John Engineering has been awarded the architectural and design contract, and uh, he's collaborating with some other folks here in the county to um, work with Craig to design a shelter. Um, that has multi-uses and Craig I want you to kind of talk about that please. Uh, my biggest thing with the shelter I want it to be usable for us as animal control but also engage the community and the design I'm going for with the wings it'll be able to separate everything. Uh, volunteers, people looking for adoptable dogs will actually be able to walk into the shelter where the dogs are that's not being done right now. Everybody's been begging for it for years and I think with this design, it's going to be a great opportunity to really get let people get their feet in the door and interact with the dogs. Um, so kind of what you're saying, and, and you'll be able to see this in the drawing outside on the, the fence very soon, we'll sort of have one wing that's a quarantine. Quarantine wing and stray for, animals. For new dogs and strays that come in, and I think you keep them up to 10 days at least mm -hmm. in there. Make sure they don't have disease. Uh, they're not injured. There's some things that we don't want them to affect the population right. that the public is looking at and potentially uh, adopting at some point, right. hopefully. And then you'll have another wing that is available for the public to go into. Yeah, that's the dogs we know that are healthy. They've been assessed um, temperament-wise. We know they're adoptable dogs, so they'll be, um, be the ones the public can be hands-on with. Excellent. And I think uh, you've designed some uh, indoor rooms where the public could take those dogs and visit with them maybe. Or, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we will have a viewing room. A viewing room. And uh, also we have a couple of uh, outdoor areas, uh, maybe one quarantine, one public, um, where the dogs can get some fresh air. Um, you know, we hope to be able to have uh, some outdoor runs also for dogs to get some fresh air and sunshine. Um, there's uh, some exam rooms in there, some office space. Um, the county will run this operation in its entirety, but we are going to need some volunteers that are competent and capable and, uh, and really care about the mission. And uh, Craig's staff will uh, somehow come up with a, a, uh, a way to manage those volunteers yeah. and schedule them that is uh, uh, good for everybody. And uh, our attorney, Ed North, is working on the liability issues to make sure that the county is uh, protected from any liability with volunteers. And uh, so we'll have that worked out, but we'll have a clean, safe facility for that. Um, in addition to, and, and I know I'm, uh, have asked you to kind of look at this too, and I'm going to get out here and try to raise the money for it. I'd like to have some, uh, maybe a, a room dedicated to 
uh, spaying and neutering, not full time, but when we want to have a spay and neuter event, we have a room in the back, an operating right. type room, um, and maybe talk to some vets about getting some core operating tables and things like that, lighting donated, so they can just come in, do their thing and leave, and then our volunteers or us can, can help tidy it up afterwards. Vets times, vet text times uh, are very valuable right now. Yeah. Um, there's such a surge in domestic animal population and, and the need for that, which is all the reason for a, a new modern friendly shelter too. Um, man, anything else? Um, I know you're gonna, I, I want you to design this thing. Um, I've got some ideas that, that I'll continue to submit to you that I, I've learned. Of course, you've done so much research looking at so many shelters. Um, we're gonna have you obviously engaged heavily with the architect because you know this will be your facility um, that you'll be operating on behalf of the county and we want it to be um, what you've learned throughout your career is, is the most um, efficient way to do the most work for the for the community. Right. And man, uh, we really appreciate you again. Your staff's great people. Uh, you're all at the groundbreaking. Uh, you can see some news in the groundbreaking on some various media stations here. And uh, Greg will put your uh, email and telephone number up on the screen so people can contact you with any issues. Uh, see any strays, um, have any animal welfare concerns, um, deceased animals, things like that. Um, you can call Craig and he can help you uh, seek advice or remedy those situations. Yep. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time. And thank you very much for joining this edition of The Mayor's Message.